welcome to Experts Exchange. My name is Joe Kelly. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a network profile within VMware's vCloud Automation Center 6. So here we are at the engineering tenant. I'm going to log in with administrator as always. And password. So any of the VMs that are deployed via VCAC obviously have to be addressable on the network, right? So we're adding an, the, the really another component here as we're building out all the different uh, pieces and bits that we need to create uh, within VCAC for the deployment of a VM. So the, the, the next part of that puzzle really is creating a network profile and defining how we want to control the IP addressing uh, for that VMs for those VMs themselves. So we're going to go to infrastructure, we're going to go to reservations, and we're going to go to network profiles. And what this is going to allow us to do is to create a basically a static pool of addresses that we can use for deployment from blueprints. Now you don't have to use network profiles. You could simply use DHCP within, DHCP within your network. Okay, so that this is purely an option to be able to control the static uh, disbursement of those IP addresses. Now you also notice once I click on new network prof profile because we're going to go through the process of creating a new network profile I have three other options outside of just external networks that I can attach to. You see I have NAT, private, and routed. Now any of these last three here require either NSX or VCNS which is vCloud Network and Security. So any of you want those advanced capabilities from a network perspective you want to accomplish, you have to have one of those products in place to be able to do so. Now what we're going to do is just create an external network, which essentially is just pointing to, it's just going to allow us to point to a network that already exists in your environment. So if you have a 192.168 address within your environment, IP addressing scheme in your environment, we're just going to point it externally to that. So we'll go next, external. We're going to give it a name, we'll just say external2 since we already have external. Give it a subnet mask. Give it a gateway. And we also have the option here of creating primary, secondary, DNS, DNS suffix, so on and so forth. You can see all the different options you can uh, input down here. We're going to leave those alone. We're going to go to IP ranges. Now this is allow us to basically set a range for this uh, this network profile that we're creating. So I could go in here and I can create a new range and say this is 192.168.1.x and then I could just create a range that starts at whatever number uh, that isn't overlapping with something already existing in the environment. We're going to cancel that and not use that but that this will be the place where you would define that. All that stuff is optional there for creating that the IP range. So now I've got two network profiles here. One called external that I, I can go look at that I've already created. You can see I have some imp inputted information here for suffix. I also have an arrange over here. and You can see that I have some stuff allocated. So this is what it's going to look like kind of post uh, uh, post implementation for a network profile. And this is just out of the box canned type uh, pooling within VCAC itself. When you want to get into more advanced type of network layering or network virtualization, you really need uh, either NSX or VCNS to be able to accomplish that. So those are the two examples of network profiles. Very easy to set up uh, and, and quite honestly outside of this you, you do have the other option of not using uh, network profiles at all. You could use simply DHCP and that's all managed by your central DHCP server as opposed to letting BCAC run that. That's it for building network profiles today. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next lesson.